Well, good morning, YouTube. I'm out here in Minden, Nevada at Johnson Lane, and um, I'm doing the long anticipated uh, test on my Tenere 700. I've got the Tenere 700 packed up with uh, camping gear, uh, luggage, and everything I need to be able to sustain a couple days. So I'll just give you a walk around of the bike, and then we're going to get on the road. Um, I could see that uh, it's a pretty dry out here, and I've already encountered some sand. So it's going to be an interesting day, and an adventure for sure. Hopefully it'll be safe, and I'll be able to give you the feedback I have on the Tenere. All right, just a quick walk around on the bike. As you can see, I've got my giant loop luggage all set up. I have a rogue bag on the top with rock straps. Uh, inside the rogue bag is a tent, a very light uh, air mattress, pillow, and toiletries, and a tarp, I believe. Uh, in this side, I've got my um, clothes, shoes, um, my sleeping bag, and some other odds and ends. Water, there's some water in there. Uh, we've got the giant loops on the front. These both are carrying tools. This has got tubing tools. I carried a big um, real wrench, half inch drive wrench with this 27 mil socket because I did not want to get in a situation where I couldn't break that rear tire. On the dark side here, I've got my full tool kit and uh, a lock. And on this side, I'm, uh, I've got my cooking gear and food. And I'm carrying this uh, possibilities pouch on the back with two bottles of water. I'm carrying quite a bit of water today because it's uh, the desert and I don't want to get in a situation if I get stranded. Tank bag, stuff that you want to get to. All right, so let's do this. The stock tires in the sand are not that good. And there's a lot of sand here. I'm not really feeling this. Whoa, that front tire is almost not even existent. That tire just gets shifty really fast in sand. And I don't know, I'm trying to lean back, but this bike's really loaded right now too, which the reason I loaded this bike up on this test is because this is what this bike's for. And the question is, is can it do it? And if it can't, you know, or if it's difficult, that's what, what we want to know. I mean, any bike with nothing on it is going to ride a hell of a lot better than loaded. Well, up on this stuff, uh, where it's hard packed, it's kind of a pleasure. The bike's just so po well poised. And with all the weight I have, I'm really impressed with how well it handles. Uh, the big foot pegs definitely give me an advantage. I'm able to really steer with my feet and the motor is very forgiving if you forget to be in the gear and things like that uh, this motor just doesn't really care I mean eventually it'll start to tell you shift but you got some time you can't drive this thing with a rear tire it seems like it almost wants you to I'm um, noticing that I'm running a lower gear with a little bit more power I can get that tire to bite can almost get the bike to kind of move around the way it should. Oh, here's a rocky hill climb. And it's doing it pretty good. Not a lot of loose shale though. I mean, I've got some hard pack that's helping me out a lot. That front tire, once it gets soft, it kind of doesn't, it kind of lets you down. Wow, that's sketchy. This bike unfortunately wants to go in the holes. Whew. I don't know about that. I feel like this bike would be very easy to drop to make a mistake. Yeah, you know, I want to do the BDR and I want to do seven and I was thinking about trying to do the advanced line but I'm not sure I feel comfortable doing it on this bike. Now I remember how planted and nibbled the 890 was and I, I even though this is dry I think the 890 would be um, way more competent here and uh, less less fatiguing uh, from a balance perspective because I feel like I'm really paying attention to this bike's balance. It's got the clearance for that stuff and that's fine but this is pretty rocky stuff here. And it's, that front tire is not 
front end is feels heavy. I don't know if that's tire or what, but it just feels wally. Especially if you start to lose speed. I mean, unless you're way back on the rear tire. I might need to adjust the compression on this thing just a bit and stiffen it up. Alright, so I just uh, increased the compression on this bike by two clicks. So I'm sitting around seven now. And I just want to see if that keeps the bike, the front end a little higher up on the stroke and helps with the handling. Boy, I think that might have actually helped. I know this isn't deep sand, but when I'm crossing the loose parts of this road, it's it's not as sketchy as it was before. Yeah, that actually feels a lot better. It's kind of deceptive. I, you know, you think that it would make the bike more harsh, but it's actually made the bike a little bit smoother. And because it's uh, got more travel. Oh, this is just gorgeous back here. Well, I think I'm sitting now around seven or six on the compression and about 10 on the rebound and the fork. And what's funny is that's about where Jimmy Lewis said he thought the, the front end should be. The back's compression's still a little softer than his specs. Um, but I'm going to do baby steps on this because I really want to see if the changes I've made are uh, being beneficial. Yeah, it feels, it feels better. Yeah, it's like it's a different bike. I can't believe that two clicks made that big a difference. Um, I'm starting to really relax and get it to where I enjoy it too. Now I'm also getting adjusted to the weight load, but before it was really scary uh, it is a lot more comfortable than the uh, the 2022 890R was I remember being out here and just feeling like I was riding a, a jackhammer now I didn't play with the clickers and they were on the standard setting so I don't know if I could have plushed that bike up a lot enough or some But I mean, a lot of people have been saying it's it's an aggressive machine. All right, so I adjusted the um, the shock compression by one. So I think I'm sitting around seven now. Uh, rebound still sitting somewhere, probably around ten. And I'm just going to see if that helps the way it's poised off road. The stock suspension feels really good right now. I mean, it's just coasting through this stuff. Curious to see how it does when we get to the rocky sections. On this rough stuff, it's doing a good job. I feel like I'm starting to get my stride a little bit with this bike. Thank you. Now the T7's just plowing through this. Boy, that adjustment on the suspension has really improved this bike's character. question is how do you make this bike lighter? Nice, nice. Uh, the suspension is absorbing most of the, the chop, so that's kind of nice. And it's staying on top of the rocks, it's not plowing into them as much. Yeah, this area is where I was hating the A90 Venture R. I wouldn't say hating, but I was not feeling its suspension. I mean, the 890's got so many good things going on. That fuel tank is envious. And the controls, low center of gravity, but it was really, really harsh. I think we may have a winner. We'll see as the trail gets tougher if I still feel that way. The motor on this bike's really good. Oh yeah. That was good. I, I think with this bike you gotta acknowledge its its uh, intended use. 
uh, traveling remotely like this on roads that are known, I think not a problem. Uh, would I take this on single track? Uh, and single track I knew maybe, but I don't know why I would. I got dirt bikes. I think this bike is really a, a globe trotter, and I would take this bike to Alaska in a heartbeat. It's just so easy. Whoa! Well, we just jumped something. Those are those are big. And the T7's doing fine. Yeah, bottom's out, but who cares? All right. That wasn't too bad. This is just amazing. So amazing. I love this place. Tenere's doing pretty damn good on it. Oh, I gotta tell you, the T7's really impressing me. You just can't... You gotta figure it out. I mean, it's just... That was pretty good. Oh, the house. It's got a motor. It's so awesome. Okay. Not sure I'd want to go much faster than that. The front end gets a little vague. But it's awesome. I'm having too much fun. Wow, well the Tenere 700 is kicking some serious butt out here. Um, at first I was feeling a little sketchy about it, but I really feel like the settings that I've got it on, which I'm going to say Jimmy Lewis, um, he found them first, are just ideal. This thing is uh, chewing it up out here and this is such an amazing place. This thing's really easy to turn off the ABS. Man, that's awesome. Dude, the Tenere 700 did that like no problem. Well, it's time to say goodbye though got to get back on the road we're gonna get down to where we want to go but it's just so amazing I'm having a really good time one thing is a bummer is uh, the fuel range on this bike a little bit I mean I haven't used a whole lot of fuel on this because I've probably only gone 50 miles because I don't know how long the next part will be. I probably do need to get gas in Urington just to be safe. Okay, that is loose. Uh, it's kind of scary. Just going to have to take it easy and don't fight the bars because that's what makes it worse. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, the front end's doing a hell of a lot better on this stuff. I think you got to keep the spike up in the stroke and make sure that that rear end is really uh, staying down and getting the traction you need. Woo! That's a little steep there, but kind of steering with the pegs and letting the bike move as it will. A better rear tire would be good. Nice. Dude, the T7 kicks ass. Wow. And it's got 
pep. Yeah, that thing will go. It does not need more power. Okay, sand. Wow. All right. Well, um, it's scaring the hell out of me. It's actually doing better as I go faster, but it's sure is scary, man. <sighs> Off to Urington. Might be raining in some spots today. So we got 200 miles of gas. You know, I don't know where I'm going and I don't know how far it'll be before I see gas again. And the last thing I want to do is get stuck out in the middle of nowhere because I don't have fuel. I'm getting like 60 miles a gallon on the spike, which is pretty good. It looks like we're on our way out of Urington. I'm looking for that East Walker River Road. All right. Well, this is it. This is totally remote. Super awesome. I'll tell you, those suspension settings have totally changed the character on this bike. And I bet with some good tires, this bike would actually be pretty damn competent. Uh, these Fastway pegs are really good. These are the uh, Fastway Adventure pegs. And the platform's super wide, it's super comfortable, and uh, the lower position and lower back is just perfect. Pretty sure this. Whoa! Woohoo! Skiing. Pretty sure this is the way to go. Yeah, you're definitely paying for this tire's road manners in the dirt. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great. This is really beautiful back here. It's raining really good over there. You see that? That's not a good sign. This motor is just such a pleasant motor. I'm cruising at like 4,000 RPMs and it's just a nice, nice purr. I feel like 40 is kind of a sweet spot. Seems when you put power down, it stabilizes it quite a bit when you're crossing that loose stuff. Well, this is one lonely road. It's awesome. Not totally sure where to go, but I think this is the right way. Sure hope so. I'm driving into that storm, which I'm not excited about. Oh, nice. Yeah, this thing kicks out really, really gracefully. It's kind of awesome. I gotta say the Tinere is kicking butt and taking names. This bike is a really, really, really good adventure touring machine. Gotta get up on that sand, wow. No, that was pretty good actually. So I'm going to go back on the East Walker River Road. Um, I think I may have a really hard time getting a Bodie off-road in the amount of time I have. But we're gonna try. doing better on the sand. It's a little sketchy, but you know, that suspension setup really uh, 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 I'm sliding there. Whee! <laughs> that was exciting. I'm going to stay on the main roads for now. I think I'll be safer. Um, man, the T7 just it's awesome. 
took care of me there. Yeah, it's pretty badass, this bike. I would like some better tires. I feel like you could go across the United States on a bike like this and not worry about it. I think we're going to go this way. This should go down back to the Walker River. There's a bridge down there, and I believe I can get the road I want to to get to Bodie. And uh, with a road like this, I should be able to make pretty good time. Wow. This thing's not far away from the A90. Uh, it's different, for sure. Feet are getting a little tired. Been on them a lot today. I just. Being able to go to this at this speed, I don't feel that you have the control sitting down. So it's for me, it's a safety thing being on the pegs. The bike's way more predictable. And if I have to make some sudden changes or sudden movements to counter something, I'm in position. I'm sitting down. I am not in position. Hey guys. Oh, that's awesome. Bikes just chewing this up. I wish I could be a little bit more up on the bars. I feel like I'm always having to... That's kind of a trip. I don't see anybody in the car. That's just kind of creepy. Like I was saying though, it's I do wish I could be a little bit more forward on the bike because I am holding with my arms, which makes you kind of tired. I might put some grip on the sides of the tank, maybe to help hold it with my knees more. And I can see kind of why guys are using Stex pegs. Well, this is a pretty long haul. I know I've done over 100 miles so far, and most of it's dirt. Definitely takes some conditioning. This is a kind of an endurance thing. This is pretty badass down here. Well, I just uh, wolfed down a protein bar and loaded up my camelback with some water. Um, I bet you I have another 50 miles, so I'm kind of keeping my eyes on the light. Uh, probably got three or four hours more of sunlight. Definitely do not want to ride out here in the dark. So I'm going to keep moving as best I can. This is absolutely just awesome. This is such a great road. <clears throat> what a gym. Perfect road for the T7. Um, not really difficult, but out here. And just a uh, spectacular place to, the views are just awesome. The uh, fun factor is just off the chart. This place is so great. I love Nevada. Yeah, this bike's great. All right. I gotta stop here and think. This place is really vast. It's super impressive. I don't know if you can see that in my rearview mirror, but there was a huge uh, caravan of large trucks and they kind of gave me a pretty good dust storm. I'm glad I have that pre-filter on this bike. It is sandy right here. Woo-wee! I 
know what they're doing out here. Yeah, the T7's kicking some serious butt. Yeah, this has just been epic. What a cool place. I've really got a really good feel for what my bike can do. All right. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go this way. And I gotta say, the Tenere, it's fun. And it's super predictable. There's not much touch in this for its price point. What an amazing machine. There's a creek there. That's cool. This has been awesome. I had no idea how far it was from Errington to Bodie. Um, I mean, you kind of thumb it on a map, but you don't really appreciate the vastness of the landscape. A map doesn't do anything justice. Bodie, 12 miles. And the Tenere 700 got me there. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, well, there's a bridge, so I guess you take the bridge. I mean, I, I guess it's a bridge. Yeah, it looks like a bridge to me. Woo -wee! That's crazy. This is pretty cool. Del Monte Canyon, four corners. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's showing up on camera, but it's it's like it's almost like like quartz. Really pretty. Cool. Yeah, the Tenere is doing that stuff really good. I mean, if you're railing like it's a dirt bike, not so much. I feel like a mountain lion's looking at me right now and going, I hope you stop so I can have you for dinner. Well, Jimmy Lewis, I want to say thank you for the settings. They're, uh, they're spot on off-road. This thing's pretty good with those settings stock. And I don't feel like I got to rush down to a suspension specialist shop and get it revalved. And, uh, you know, the suspension's not even broken in yet. It's going to get better with time as it starts to loosen up and have less stiction and just, uh, you know, better performance. It's doing pretty damn good right now. I think the big thing you got to realize is it's a heavy bike. Um, you know, and it can, you got to be, you know, on the pegs and a little body English. Put it where you want to, and not out riding it. Because I mean, you know, one of the problems you're going to get into is you're riding harder than you should, and then you know you get into trouble, run out of runway. That's kind of cool. There's an old shed there, like a prospector's shed, or maybe an old uh, gang's hideout. Who knows? technical it's like sand and rock uh, it's doing really good on that this is pretty pretty tough going all right well that was a good test of the Tenere's ability boy I don't want too much more of that. Definitely some of the hardest stuff I rode today. 
Okay. This is not easy. Line choices are really important. I don't want to get in that rain rut. So I'm having to really take my time. Oh my gosh, that's just gorgeous. This is crazy. Oh, this is beautiful back here. Not totally sure if I'm going to do a second day right now. Um, personally, I feel pretty content with today, and I think I'd like to get some better tires on it before I go out and start really testing it. So, I might actually cut this one day short which actually was my original plan, it was a single day. And then uh, that'll give me uh, a BDR to look forward to. Oh, it's doing so well. Way better than earlier. And I think a lot of it's me and getting the suspension right. And the itinerary just, it's just purring like a kitten. It's just doing great. This thing's really good on gas. I'm still showing full and I've been riding for a long ass time. That's cool. Uh, my kickstand's in a weird spot. But that's a really cool ruin. A little bit more down there. We must be getting close to Bodie now. Look at that. Wish I had better light. The Tenere has uh, proven to me its quality today. How you doing? Okay, don't don't let me by. Yeah, go slow, no, Come on, guys, move out of the way. I'm in Bodhi now and I don't plan on going to the park so I'm hoping I can just go around and there it is the town of Bodhi No parking anytime. What a bummer. Uh, really old town. Well, this is the historic town of Bodie, and I'm just passing through. I was able to get here during the daylight hours, and it's pretty awesome. Well, it's starting to get pretty cold, and it's about time to call it. I've had an epic day. The Tenere's just been phenomenal. It really is a great adventure bike. I, for the money, I don't think there's a better one. Uh, all in all, I'd say this day was a success, and I 
I was able to set out and do what I I wanted uh, made the whole trek it was definitely uh, quite a few miles I think we're about 200 miles total today and most of it was dirt so and I'm gotta probably drive another 100 miles or so back so all right well let's get out of here Thank you.